Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead and start packing up all of my fall decor. I'm so over fall already and excited to bring out all of my Christmas items. But before all of that can happen, I have to go ahead and start packing and taking everything away. I like to have my house breathe a little bit before I'm busting out all of my new decor or next seasonal or holiday decor. So that's what we're going to go ahead and focus on here. As you can tell, I pretty much already started taking away everything from this ottoman and also what we had on our tv stand um but yeah in this area where the ottoman is at is where i always put my christmas tree well i started putting my christmas tree from last year after i had switched around our living room so i have no idea where i'm gonna put this ottoman at but i'm just gonna go ahead and push it aside for now then i'm gonna go ahead and quickly vacuum all this area and mop to prep to put my christmas tree in this area so I hope this video motivates you guys and gives you guys inspiration if you guys are in need of that. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have started already packing up your fall decor and if you guys are already bringing out Christmas or what are your plans this year. Like I mentioned before, this is the area where I always put my Christmas tree now on since our living room is switched around. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start by placing the feet bottom part before I can go ahead and bring out the first branches. My Christmas tree is flocked, so if you guys are not familiar with a flocked Christmas tree and how messy they could get, I am going to share with you guys here. This one is not as quite as messy as the one I previously used to have. So this is actually my second year putting up my King of Christmas tree. This video is not sponsored in any way by them. Um, but if you guys would like to see when I first unboxed it on my last video or um, last year and how I fluffed it up and everything, you guys could go ahead and check that out. I'll have it linked in the description box and also in the cards up below for you guys if you guys are in need of any of that flocking and fluffing out um, on your Christmas tree because the only way to get the best looking full and more realistic looking Christmas tree is to take that time to go ahead and flock out your tree but yeah we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom part here as you guys can tell it was just a Walmart box that I simply covered with some contact paper from a Dollar Tree I actually did this last year and I just placed it underneath and now I'm just trying to bring out the branches fix the box um, so it stays in its shape that it's supposed to be and then we're gonna go ahead and start flocking and assembling my tree and once again I will share how much flock this tree actually throws at the end of the video well at the end part from where I finish putting it all together so you guys can see but like I mentioned before this one is not as messy as the one I used to have but I would still do flock trees anytime every time I just love the flock I don't need that type of drama And trying to be tough for the day time You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell but now I'm strong I'm ready for the rematch So here I'm just working on the last part, which is the very top part. If you guys notice, each time you attach a new section, the tree automatically lights up. So there's no need to looking for cords to connect and so on. So that's what I really like. I also love the the branches on these on this one which is the queen flock from king of christmas i mentioned before i like that the tips are like a little bit more different and more realistic i just love that part but here is all of the flock that you can see um as you can tell it's not much 
especially around the tree when I was flocking it or fluffing it out all of the flock that fell you guys can see it is just there so it's not as messy as like I mentioned my old tree used to be so I have no problem with this one just in case you guys are wondering if flock trees are messy they are a little bit not as crazy as you probably could think um, but I guess it also depends also where you get it but we're gonna go ahead and move on to where my TV area is at I'm gonna remove my plants and everything around here and I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a really good wipe and dust down So I know I'm gonna get this question asked about my fireplace. So my fireplace, I actually got this one on offers up for free and it's not installed in our house. It just looks like it is. But if you guys take a sneak peek of that cord that's over here on the other side of me, um, which will actually be the left side, that is the cord to my electric fireplace from my old TV stand that we just go ahead and put it inside just to give that really nice fire um, vibe like it has a real fire going inside there and then it actually lets the heat out still so that is all the story about my fireplace I can link it down for you guys if you guys want because I know they do sell them so if you guys want one of these I will link it down for you guys but we're gonna go ahead and vacuum my floors before I could go ahead and take my Swifter and some pine salt from a spray bottle and mop my floors are new over here on my channel i just want to say hello welcome my name is rama i am a stay-at-home mother of four we live here in california and over here on my channel i like to share cleaning with me videos as well as decorating and decor ideas and hopes to inspire and motivate you guys each time you guys visit one of my videos i've also been lately sharing a little bit of day in the life since i am a stay-at-home mother of four so if you guys are interested in that content and would like to see more like this, I'd like to invite you guys to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you guys would like to be part of my YouTube family and see more of my videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, you guys, for always coming back and supporting my channel. You guys know it means a whole bunch to me and I really appreciate each time you guys click on one of my videos. So now we're going to go ahead and start gathering everything around over here in the sofa area. As you can tell, I have my bin there where I put all of my fall decor from the other side of the living room and all of that there. But we're going to go ahead and quickly pick up all the trash, jailless papers, homework, crayons, all of that stuff over here. And then I'm also going to be adding my fall decors to this bin as I'm going. So I normally organize them and have like a whole bin full of pumpkins, a whole bin full of um, glassware and stuff like that. But this year I'm just I'm gonna be honest I'm just gonna fill up the bin as it goes so once this bin is full I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in another one and fill that one up and just do it like that simply probably gonna regret it next year when I'm searching through my fall decor to decorate again but this lazy mama is just gonna do it like this this time so as long as it's packed and put away nicely I think it still counts as I organized it
As you guys can tell, my sofas are a whole lot lighter color, but they do get in time to time like little stains or like something on there. So all I do is just take a microfiber cloth and I wet it at a tip and I just slightly rub it in that area and it helps clean it up. Although it seems like it makes it worse because it wets it, but once it dries up, trust me, it's all clean. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and quickly do here. Just go ahead and take my micro microfiber cloth and just do a quick spot clean. What I do, I do. Trying to be open and keep my head up to words and that's spoken makes all the difference to me and you. So in today's video, I'm not going to be decorating for Christmas yet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up and just put things back so it still looks cozy a little bit and so on. But I just want my house to breathe and feel just fresh and empty and clean just for a couple days before I start bringing everything Christmas. But now that I'm done in the living room, I'm going to go ahead and take the moment to take out everything that I have here that's fall related as in pumpkins and flower stems in this china set that I have here before we could go ahead and move on to the kitchen. So the kitchen is a different little story right now because it's kind of messy as well plus I have a little bit of dishes I need to wash but as you can tell here the counter is full of stuff so I'm going to go ahead and start removing every all of this putting trash in the trash items I need to go put away fall decor put them in the tote and so on so i hope you guys are enjoying this video i also have to take my little water break as you guys seen that there but i hope you guys are enjoying this video i hope this video is giving you all of the motivation and so on um i actually filmed this video over the past two days so the other part you guys will notice an outfit change but it's just sometimes i cannot get or pretty much we can never get the whole house done in one day so I know many of you guys can relate with me so but it's okay it's fine as long as we do it little by little then we know we'll have it done sooner or later but I hope you guys are feeling motivated with this video if you guys are don't forget to give me a like Doesn't matter what I do I do
I lighted that candle to see if it finishes before I actually am ready to bring out all my Christmas stuff so I don't have to like save it and I could just toss it away. But after that I have to do the dishes like I mentioned before so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly unload the dishwasher and then I'm gonna hand wash and rinse my dishes and I'm just gonna put them in the dishwasher so they could um, dry so it's not like scattered on the counters or anything and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the rest. I saw Jayla there on the counter so by this time she was already home from school already and she just likes to be around me especially this one she knows I have the camera on so that is just what she's doing there playing on her phone while she's just talking to me at the same time and just wanting to be in the camera but we're gonna go ahead and quickly finish washing this little bit of dishes that we have here before we could go ahead and fill up our sink once again with my plants because I realized my plants needed water so I have quite a few plants indoors and outdoors, but the indoor ones, sometimes I just feel like I forget to water them or something, especially now that it's colder weathers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just be a plant mom and take a little care of my plants by pruning them a little bit from a little couple dry leaves that they have. And then like I mentioned, I'm going to water them. And I love this big old sink that we have now because I could put like several of them in there and just spray them down and let, leave them in there until they like drain all the excess water out and everything but yeah that's what we're going to be doing now as soon as i'm done washing the dishes and if you guys were expecting for me to decorate in today's video for christmas i do apologize but it's just like i like i mentioned before i wanted to take away all of my fall decor and then i wanted to just have a nice clean neutral slate with no seasonal decor um in my house for just a couple of days uh, before I start bringing out my Christmas but Christmas decor is not too far away so stay tuned for next video that I upload that one or we'll already start having more Christmas decorating content So here I'm going to go ahead and to open up this box. It's not sponsored or anything, but it's just the package arrived and I needed it. So it's the um, granite cleaner that I use to wipe off my 
granite countertops and everything i've mentioned it before i purchased it on amazon it's linked in my amazon storefront if you guys are interested in it um once again it's not sponsored in any way for today's video it's just that it arrived perfect timing because i was out already so i just went ahead and unboxed it. as you can tell it's nicely boxed and then it's still wrapped in the plastic the both of the bottles together in case there's a leak or something like that but i've never had a leak so i really really recommend this company um cleaners as well it's by the brand stone care on amazon so yeah i'm here just pruning off a little bit of my plants and watering them at the same time so yeah um that's what we're going to be doing here before we could go ahead and do something a little different that jayla has been wanting to do after we arrived from the pumpkin patch a couple of days back and i promised her that we would do it so that is coming up soon um it's going to be our first time and it was just i don't know it, it was just funny because she wanted to do it so bad but then at the same time she was like right when we were in the process she was like oh, i don't think i want my hands to get dirty but we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters before we could go ahead and do that Remember when I mentioned to you guys that Jayla likes to be wherever the camera is at? See, she was fine sitting at the other chair, but she saw I had the camera moved from the other side. And I guess she figured that she wasn't going to be seen in the camera. So she goes over and sits on the dining room table just to make sure that she was in the camera. But I'm going to go ahead and quickly finish evacuating up my floors before we could go ahead and do the little project with Jayla. <music> So the project is that we're going to get her pumpkin that she picked up at the pumpkin patch when she went with her class and we're going to carve it and tell you guys she's a camera fan so she's over here staring at herself in the camera but anyways this is actually my first time carving a pumpkin so <laughs> excuse my experience and everything but it's like i don't know i've never it's never called my attention to open up a pumpkin to carve a pumpkin or anything like that and while we were using a spoon and everything, kept on telling Jilla, put your hand in there and pull out the guts and the seeds and everything. And she was definitely not feeling that. A seed jumped to her. She had to wipe her shirt off super fast because she was just getting like grossed out. She was like, ew, I don't want to touch that. It feels ugly. and It's weird and my hands are going to get dirty and so on. And I was like, well, it's all part of the fun of... <laughs> carving a pumpkin and pulling out all the guts and everything and she's like no i don't want to touch the pumpkin's brains and its guts and i don't know it was just so funny but she had me laughing but i think at the same time she enjoyed it although she did get upset because once i started carving the face part on it like i mentioned i've never carved a pumpkin so i'm not a pro at it but she was kind of set upset at me um but then afterwards she liked it and she asked to take a picture and i will share the picture with you guys afterwards but look at her i'm telling you guys she loves camera attention
So after asking her several times if she wanted to put her hand in there so she could get like the real experience, she's all like, no, I'll just pull it if you take it out. So I took it out and you guys could see her making faces and everything. Then afterwards she was like, oh, my hands are both so dirty. And she rubbed them together and she only used one hand. So they both got dirty because she was rubbing them together. And afterwards I just helped her get off of the bar stool and she went ahead and went into the restroom to wash her hands well i started trying to carve the face and then she gets so upset at it but then like i mentioned she loved it afterwards but she nearly wanted to cry she said that the pumpkin's face was so ugly and that she wanted another one on and i convinced her that it wasn't ugly and it was cute and well i don't know i guess it worked but th to be honest the pumpkin was very funky looking but she liked it at the end and the best part is that she had fun pulling out the brains, like she says, out of the pumpkin. So now this is the next following day. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing everything that is fall decor and everything here on my coffee bar and then I'm gonna remove some items that I have on the towards the hutch clear off the table the brooms that are hanging on that side and just clean up this whole uh, dining room as well so it's nice empty fresh and breathing before I could go ahead and bring it uh, my Christmas decor so my plans for my Christmas decor are just to go like very Christmas something you would see like in Christmas movies and all that like I just want to go full-blown Christmas and I am so excited with so many ideas in my head and everything it's just I just want my house to scream Christmas like there's a show on Netflix that's called um that's called I believe it's called Mr. Claus or something like that and I've watched it several times last year I haven't watched it this year so far but that guy goes in decorates the people's house and it's like if you're living in a gingerbread house or just like imagine like christmas just threw up in their house or something but like in a good way so i want my house to feel very christmas look very christmas and i want it to feel and look like something you would see when you're watching a christmas movie or something so that's what i'm aiming for but before all of that, I need to let my house breathe from a fall decor and all of that. So we're going to go ahead and clean this up, put everything away, let the house breathe a couple of days. And then like I mentioned, my next video will start having Christmas decorating parts since all my fall will be gone and my house has breathed. <laughs>
So now all I have left is just to do a couple of touches here, which are the brooms. I'm going to put this box away, which is actually my Christmas signed by Taylor Canvases. If you guys have not checked out that video or if you guys are interested in one of the Taylor Canvases um, frames or something, go ahead and check out their website. I will have it linked below. And I also have a discount code if you guys use Irma15 so you guys can save 15% on your entire purchase. But after all of the cleanup and everything, this is how our whole house is looking. So it's a very bare, empty, and it's just perfect for it to breathe in everything before all my Christmas decor comes out. So if you guys are excited for Christmas decor and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.